you have so many things going on and I wanted to get into your book, which is, I mean, yeah. I mean, how did that even come about? How did you, the process with reliving the past? Like, I mean, so much mom life, so much, (laughs) so much. It's, um, it definitely in the beginning, it was difficult, especially when the book launched May 5th and I had to do media that week because it was one of the first time people knew stories that I had never told before. So like it was already therapy session with my, um, Brie and I, when we were writing with our ghostwriter mm-hmm. um, and then I had to relive it for media. And then now I'm having to relive it for total Bellas. Yeah. Right. And it's like, I have to keep reliving it with the world, but I, I have to say um, the blessing in disguise about it is the amount of women that have reached out to me that have been raped and haven't said anything about it is so incredibly sad, but my story has helped them Mm -hmm, realize mm -hmm. that I need to talk about this and I need to confront it with myself inside so I can be free of it. So that's been the blessing, but it is scary to write a memoir, you know, I mean, as a Mm -hmm. realtor and you guys know, you guys are the same. We put our hearts out there. Yeah. I didn't realize writing a book is like even more like I'm fully just cut open. Here you go. Right. Nothing else is in the closet. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, does it okay. feel more like a relief after writing it or after knowing that it's out there, like the day it's pushed. Mm. So after writing it, um, mm. it felt like a relief. And then it was weird because it started to give me anxiety again. Once I knew the world was going to know, it started to bring up feelings of like, should I have done that? Why did I do this? Like, I I don't want anyone to know. Like it was weird how it started to make me take steps backwards, but now I'm back to making steps forward. And I'm sure the outcry. Yeah. yeah, It was like, it actually felt really good for how like women, like looking up to you and saying like, thank you so much for doing that. I'm sure that made you feel really good about it. Oh my God. So amazing. And I I just can't believe all the stories. It's crazy. Mm. Um, we were actually just talking about anxiety and how we're dealing with it just because Joe's back in lockdown for the second time and Mm -hmm. we might be here pretty soon here in LA. Like, and you were just talking about anxiety. Like, how do you cope with anxiety? Is it working out? Like, or what have, what have you you done in the past? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So workout used to be a big thing for me and I can't wait to get back into that. Um, because I feel like sweating is, it is crazy the release it gives you, but meditation, like I am so pro at meditating and I'm very spiritual. So I, I get more into it. Like I'm all about the universe and the moons and the energy. Yes. And I like, you guys have to see me when it's a full moon. Like I have Artem <laughs> help me bring all my crystals out in the backyard to where it's a good spot for the moon. <laughs> and I get my sage and I have him walk around with me and I tell him like, thank God, so, you know, manifest and, and be free. Same. And You're speaking yeah, life to me right now. I yes. <laughs> and, but doesn't it help so much? And like all the hymns, I, I need that in my life. 